The Trailblazer Award is an honorary prize presented to a working game creator who has both made great contributions to the field of games and truly captures the independent spirit. Uh, that's right. The Trailblazer Award is for distinguished accomplishment over a career of game creation, uh, recognizing the, those personalities without whom many of us would not have fallen in love with games in the first place. Here to present the Trailblazer Award is IndieCade co-founder and festival chair Celia Pierce. Thank you. How's everyone doing this evening? <laughs> really excited about the award so far, and it's my honor to be here to present our Trailblazer Award for 2016 to Rand Miller. In 1988, brothers Rand and Robin Miller set out on an adventure to create a game, an Alice in Wonderland style excursion into the magical world of the manhole. Working out of their parents' garage, sound familiar? They developed the game in HyperCard and sold it directly, directly to players on a floppy disk via mail order. After making several successful children's games, they decided to try their hand at developing a game for adults. That game was missed. At the time of its publication in 1993, Mist was referred to by review reviewers as the Citizen Kane of video games, equating it with the landmark Orson Welles film that elevated the pop culture form of movies to a high art form. Eschewing the mainstream industry's favoring of speed over graphics quality, and they, excuse me, eschewing the mainstream games industry's favoring of speed over graphics quality, they created it almost entirely with still images. Mist was characterized by its breathtaking near photorealistic vistas, sophisticated storyline, minimalist interface, and complex narratively integrated puzzles. Throughout the 1990s, Mist-like was regularly invoked as an adjective to describe new concepts, and it is still used as the high watermark of artistry for the adventure game genre. Mist is the first game I recall hearing about primarily from women, and it remained the best-selling computer game of all time until it was outstripped by The Sims in 2002. As Rand pointed out at our interview today, it is the best-selling computer game of the last century. <laughs> Over the following decade, Cyan produced a number of games revolving around the magical race of the Dunny, which called whole worlds into being by writing, a conceit noted by scholars as an apt metaphor for computer programming. In the late 1990s, the studio began to forge a new path by bringing its fans together in a multiplayer instantiation of the Dunny world. Uru was built on the team's signature puzzle aesthetic, but with the added element of cooperation, going against the shoot your friend ethos of most MMOGs. Uru was launched in beta in 2003, but its commercial release was aborted by its publisher six months later, leaving tens of thousands of game refugees in its wake. So devoted were these fans, the subject of my PhD dissertation, that they disappeared into virtual worlds, I'm sorry, they dispersed into virtual worlds trying to maintain and recreate the culture and aesthetic of Uru. This small but persistent fan base eventually managed to instigate multiple reopenings of the game. Today, Uru runs off a small server run by Slan and allows players to build their own fan-created ages. Returning to his indie roots, in 2013, Cyan launched a successful Kickstarter to develop a new game and world. The highest support level earned fans a chance to create a model for the game. Abduction was released on Steam in August of this year. Rand Miller has been on our list of potential trailblazers since this award was introduced. He is by far one of the most influential game designers in our industry and a pioneer of the creative vision and risk-taking spirit that inspired us to launch IndieCade. It is my honor to present Rand Miller with the 2016 IndieCade Trailblazer Award. That is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, got it. That is amazing. So this is uh, this is huge, you guys. This is really cool to be getting this from uh, Indiecade. Because um, 
this is just, it's exactly what we talked about. It feels like full cir circle for me. I started doing this uh, in a garage and I'm back and this is the part I love the most. We go through this phase where we had a bunch of people telling us what to do and it's um, not as much fun. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, so, so also, this is not about, um, what we do is not about being savvy and smart and genius and measured. Um, it's kind of what I said earlier in the talk. If there was one word that kind of defines what I feel like how we do this, it's naive. Um, <laughs> and I think that comes across as negative a lot, but I'll bet, I'll bet so many people in this audience know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like, yeah, I can do this. I think I can do this. Um, that must have come from a, you know, a mom who said, that's beautiful, even when it was hideous, I don't know. Um, but I feel that, and sometimes it works. Um, sometimes it doesn't, you fail, and that's okay. And we've had plenty of those, but sometimes it works, and um, when it works the best, and it actually gets recognized, and people like your stuff, and you get awards from people who actually inspire you like like you guys I mean talk about out of the box and interesting seeds of ideas that make a guy who's you know midway in his career uh, <laughs> want to keep going it's this part of it that that does that I I'm not ready to stop I'm more inspired now than ever and part of that's because this felt like our light our last game felt like a garage and uh, so anyway, go out there and be naive, do what you do and fail and try again till uh, someday you're up here with one of these. Awesome, thank you guys so much. <laughs>